Hey friends, it's Holly from Chic Antique. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a fall flipping challenge. This is hosted by the lovely Kara from Lemons to Lemonade TX here on YouTube. So if you're excited for this video and you're curious to see whether I chose a fall theme, or a spooky Halloween theme, just keep watching. But before I forget, the playlist with all the other artists' videos will be linked in my description for you to reference. Definitely recommend watching those so you can see what everyone came up with. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, here's the piece we're gonna be working on today. I found this at my local Goodwill. It's in pretty good shape, but there are some dings and scratches that we're gonna fill in later. But the most important thing is this is solid wood and it is very sturdy. That is important because it is easier to fix cosmetic issues rather than structural issues. So all we're going to need is a little bit of wood filler and a little bit of paint to make this look like new. I'm going to start by first cleaning this piece. I'm going to be using a TSP cleaner, so I'm going to be wearing disposable gloves to protect my skin. I'll be using Dixie Ball's White Lightning Cleaner. This is a TSP cleaner, so it's going to clean this piece really, really well. I'm just going to dissolve this into some hot water. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down the entire piece with this cleaner. And using an old toothbrush just to get in any areas that I can't reach with the rag. And here's what that water looked like. I assume this piece had some polish on it. That's what made the water turn this gray white color. Now we need to rinse off the cleaner just so we don't have any residue. So I'm going to use some clean clear water and just wipe down the piece. Now to fill in this damage, I'm going to be using Dab's plastic wood filler and filling these in. And I'll be using a metal putty knife just to smooth out that wood filler and push it down into the wood. And there were a lot of very small dings, so I'm just using my finger to fill in those areas. After that's dry, I'm going to smooth out the wood filler using 220 grit sandpaper, as well as scuff sand the rest of the piece. And I'm feeling along with my hand as I go just to make sure it's smooth. And if it's not, I continue sanding. This piece was fairly shiny, so not only am I smoothing out that wood filler, but I'm scratching up the smooth surface. 
so that the paint can have something to adhere to. It's a lot harder for paint to adhere to something that is shiny and glossy and smooth, so it's always a really good idea to scuff sand using 220 grit sandpaper if you can. After all the sanding, I'm just removing that dust using a tack cloth. Now I'm just going to flip over the piece before we get started painting. I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint today in the color Anchor. And I'll be painting using my Dixie Belle Flat Medium Brush. You always want to mix up your paint before you get started, especially if it's a new container like this. After several minutes of mixing, this is what it looked like. Now I'm going to start painting first on the legs. I found it easiest just to go in back and forth windshield wiper motions just to get that paint on there and I'm making sure not to have too much paint on my brush. The first coat of paint isn't about coverage, it's just about getting that paint on there. It's better to do thin coats like this rather than thick ones because they can level out and dry faster and it gives a smoother finish. After painting the legs, I'm just showing you what painting the second shelf looks like. This is an all-in-one paint, meaning it has a built-in primer and top coat in it, and it also self-levels really well. So when you're using this paint, it's really important not to overbrush or overwork your paint because it won't be able to level out as well. You want to just get the paint on there and smooth it out as quickly as you can and then move on. Now finally moving on to the top, just showing you what that looks like. Each section I'm working on, I'm just getting the paint on there and then smoothing it out using side to side motions and then doing one long stroke to smooth out that area. 
Now just showing you the other side, capping off that edge before I move on to the other side of the top. Again, I'm applying the paint in the middle of my section and then smoothing it out side to side and then doing one long stroke to smooth it out further. Dixie Belle recommends letting this dry two hours before going on to your second coat. It is going to depend on humidity and temperature in your area. It was a little bit cold that day, so I waited three hours and then moved on to my second coat. Now I'm just showing you what that second coat looks like on the leg here. Again, I'm doing that back and forth motion using very little paint on my brush so that I get a smooth finish and it also prevents the paint from flinging off my brush. I love painting pieces black, not only because it's very classy and very chic, but it's also a lot easier than almost any other color. Black has a lot of coverage to it, so I usually only need two coats. It makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> and a lot faster, I might add. Have any of you tried this all-in-one paint line? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Did you have a hard time working with it? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now finally moving on to the top, just showing you what that looks like. You can see how smoothly that first coat dried. So you can see that my technique definitely paid off. I also would like to add, it's important if you wanna get a smooth finish to use a synthetic brush. I do like this brush. The only thing I don't like about it is I wish there were more bristles. I wish it was more densely packed so that I could get more paint in and work faster. The denser a brush is, usually the faster you can work with it. So I just wish it was a little bit more dense.
Now, after that second coat, I just wanted to show you how much paint I had left. I probably only used one and a half to two ounces of paint on this, which is crazy. Now, after letting the paint dry overnight, I'm just gonna do one coat of Barathane's polyurethane, water-based in a matte finish. Silk does have a built-in top coat in it, but I do just want a little bit more protection on this, so I'm adding one coat of this polyurethane. And again, I'm gonna be using my Dixie Belle brush, pretty much using the same technique as I used for the paint. I don't wanna overwork this, and I wanna move really quickly so that it can smooth out on its own. After capping off the edges, I'm moving on to the top and I'm going section by section, first applying it to the center of my section and then smoothing out each side. I would say this finish is more like a satin matte. It has a little bit more sheen than matte, I would say. If you're looking for something that is matte or flat, I wouldn't recommend this as it does have just a little bit of sheen to it. If you want something that is a complete flat chalky finish, I would recommend Dixie Belle's Clear Coat in Flat. It dries pretty much invisible, it doesn't add any sheen. Now moving on to the leg, just showing you what that looks like. Again, using that same technique I used for the paint. Just using side to side motions and moving very quickly. And now that it's all complete, I just want to remind you what we started with. And here's how it looks now.
Thank you guys so much for joining me on this makeover today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the link in my description to watch all the other videos from this collaboration. I'm super excited to see what everyone came up with. And if you like this style of video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Another video, another time, it's raining.